Reactor online. Weapons online. Like button activated. Subscribe button activated. All systems nominal. Welcome to the channel, Gaming Army. This drop finds us in our Cicada 3M with four medium pulse lasers and plenty of ECM for sneaky shenanigan things. We're playing Domination on River City. And I've broken off from the main group, uh, heading off into the other section of the city here to hunt down a stray missile boat. Target Don't know acquired. exactly where he's at. That's why I'm kind of taking it slow and trying to keep my eyes peeled. I think he has moved off to the left. That is where my attention kind of is focused at the moment, uh, thinking that he's repositioned from when he last fired. And there's a low signal, which means... He's also running ECM, and he's close by, so it's not the units I thought were over there on the left. So now things get really interesting, and yeah, that's a blood asp. So we've got an assault mech back here. I make sure that my lance mate knows that we're dealing with a blood asp, and then get ready to re-engage. He is fully focused on my lance mate. I don't want him to turn around and light me up, but... Uh, yeah, he's giving me his back. He's not turning. He's not flinching. Uh, I'll take back shots all day long if I can get to. I do have to apologize. There's some lag going on on the server for these couple of drops. And uh, you can see it there. I'm, I'm rubber banding kind of all over the place. I managed to get the right torso and a teammate takes the kill. And here we have a second enemy unit. Did not see him initially, but... We'll take on the Timberwolf. Doing some damage to his CT, and now he is open. Uh, can't get through here, so I've got to go around the buildings, unfortunately. And by the time I'm back in position, my teammates have managed to finish him off. Thanks. Come on, game. Don't let him Target acquired. Yeah, I just lagged out there a second ago myself. Target spotted. So now we have uh, more enemy units. Gulf 7. So we're going to head that way, and there is Kilo in the water. Now I notice Kilo, Uziel, open right torso. His right torso is open, so I'm going to leave him. There's a whole slew of my teammates coming, and they should be able to take care of him. I'm more interested in this catapult that we found in the back. I want to get his attention and or kill him so that he will stop raining missiles on my teammates. And he's not paying attention very much and allowing me to get in behind him and get some nice back shots on him as well and now i'm just going to follow him down okay. this line of buildings <laughs> shooting his back <laughs> as i go and uh yeah we've got him open right torso and rear center torso now he does good move there by keeping his back to the building and i find his teammate giving me his back which i will take gladly and now we face him head on he does have some medium lasers for backup Four of them, which I do have to be aware of. Throw up a UAV so that my teammates can see these two enemy units. And now the dance begins. Catapult is open, front and back. But his teammate is sticking to me like glue, so I've got to be careful how I do this. I want the kill. And there, I take the catapult down. And a teammate manages to kill the second unit there probably save me because I am nice and Target orange in my quiet. CT. You ain't gonna have time. Two enemy units left. One of them is uh, this Marauder. Target destroyed. Oh, so close. Again, I'll take back that shots. Was, uh, securing the kill, not stealing. Securing. Anytime you can get a back shot, good idea to take it. So we have one more. It's in the circle somewhere. And now the hunt begins. Right in the middle structure, T6, I believe. We're a quarter of the way there. I've Keep got a teammate up. calling out a possible location. I'm going to check. Target acquired. Lima, there he is in the water. And now we found him. He's fairly fresh. But he's going to get focused here quickly. Uh, it's one against many. Ooh. He's getting lit up from every direction imaginable. <laughs> He's got laser fire, missile fire. Target destroyed. Command is happy to hear nice. your success nice. and achievements on the surface. See, we just had to, had to turn around and change a lot. 
No, it's, it's, it's our yummy combination of tater tots and Canadian bacon. Christ, now I'm hungry. Checking the end screen, we wind up with two kills, five assists, and 524 damage done. A little cheese and bacon. We'd have a we'd have a twist on poutine there. Moving right along to our next drop. This one finds us in domination mode, but this time on polar highlands. And we've got some back and forth locating enemy units in the high ground I-9 and Hotel 9 as well as something off toward, towards Hotel 8. Uh, I'm focusing these activated. guys. Target spotted. I don't want them to get comfortable up there in the high ground getting free shots on my teammates. That we cannot New have. So just harassing them here a little bit. I do want to move him closer Air and get a better angle. Online. But right now I'm letting my airstrikes Air do some work activated. on them and soften them up before I move in. Just two of them on the high ground I-9 airstrike out on them. I make sure to communicate that to my teammates as well so they know New what to expect. Acquired. And that looked suspiciously like a yeah, full blown Atlas up there. Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to drop Let's see if we can get a acquired. better angle here. And, yep, there is an Atlas. Bait some fire off of him. There's an Atlas. There's three units I 9 high ground. Lock up the okay. Atlas so that my teammates can see him on their battle maps as well. And just to make sure that they know what the enemy position is, I'm going to sneak over here. UAV I'm going to put up my UAV and oh, there is an enemy crab. Now, I don't want to take this fight. Crabs are fairly tanky. Their weak spots are their legs. That's why we're shooting at the legs. But I want to get out of here because he's got a lot of teammates up on the high ground above me. So I'm going to use my speed and my stealth, and I'm going to make a run for it just to get away. I'm looking at my mini-map, and I can see the crab is following me. If you look at the red dots and you see those triangles, they point which way the enemy is moving and facing. So that's a very important tip. So I saw that he was following me. I'm going to do a little double back here and get a, an angle, hopefully, on his rear. Acquired while he's chasing my last known position, and sure enough, there he is. I'm gonna stick on those legs again. That is the weak spot on a crab. Crabs have a very narrow profile when they're looking at you, and they can turn left and right and splash damage. They can't splash damage on their legs very easily. And both his legs are weak. He's taking fire, and he has decided to move on, and I'm okay with that because that frees me up to do this. Sneak up onto the high ground and continue what I was originally doing target acquired. in the beginning, which is harassing their missile boats. I do want to get a little bit closer. I want to make sure that I'm doing maximum amount of damage. So I'm going to circle around to the right here, see if I can get another angle on these enemy units and put them firmly within acquired. my preferred weapons range. Now there's an Ebon Jag there, and again, a similar build to the Crab. They're long and narrow, but if you take him from the side, he's giving me a nice wide profile on his side torso. They're rotating there between uh, I-10, Hotel 9. I want to see if I can capitalize on that. New target yeah, yeah. acquired. Again, I want to apply pressure. I don't want him just standing there throwing LRMs on my target team's spotted. head. Target destroyed. So he doesn't like being harassed. He's moving off, which acquired. is exactly what I wanted to happen. He can't shoot my friends if he's busy repositioning. And I've gotten jumped by an urban knock. <laughs> Did not know he was there. This is not good. Well, okay, now it's good because I see his center torso is open. Uh-oh, the other jag has moved in. So now it's two against one. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what you would have done. Two versus one. Do you stay and fight, or do you use your speed and stealth, bail, and reposition? I'm choosing to stay with the fight on this just because I know the urban mech is heavily damaged. I'm trying to land some extra shots on his center torso. Also, the Evan Jag, his primary weapons are two LRM-20s, and at close range... They can't do any damage, so 
I'm just going to bob and weave for all I'm worth, looking for my opportunities to do damage on these two. I do want to stay close to that Evan Jag so he can't use point. missiles. And he's taking some damage there as well. And there's the one I want to finish off. And there we go. There is the kill shot on his CT as he jumps. And now we can focus solely on the Evan Jag, who is now open CT and left torso. If I can take either center torso or even the left torso, that will really hurt his mech as far as heat management. May even shut him down temporarily. Not Alpha. And unfortunately, the lag is kicking in big time now. But there he is in front of us, and we'll keep trying to work on those torsos. Target destroyed. And we finally get the kill shot on Target his CT. Body. We had a little missile support from... Oh my. We had missile support from our, our teammates. Oh, brother, you legged yourself. Yep. <laughs> teammates Target uh, acquired. took unnecessary damage jumping off that cliff. Uh, I see there's a, a targeted I-9, but he's being swarmed by my teammates. I'm going to go for whatever I saw out here towards Hotel 8. I didn't get a lock on him, but I know he's out here. It's a Vapor Eagle, and he is, is wiped out by my team. Good finish. <laughs> Good game, guys. Taking a look at the end score, we wind up with two kills, three assists, 715 damage done.